Hello everyone and welcome to Pentagon. Here's today's problem. We have the graph of a parabola and we're given that the triangle formed by connecting its roots and the vertex has an area of 108. The equation of the parabola is y equals ax squared plus 6ax and we need to solve for a where a is less than zero. Please pause the video here if you'd like to try and solve this yourself. All right, now, since we're given a triangle that's formed by the roots and the vertex of a parabola, it's best if we find out the coordinates of those three points. So let's start by finding the roots. First, what we'll do is we'll take our equation and we'll set it to zero. So this will be ax squared plus 6ax is equal to zero. Next, what we can do is factor out an ax from the left-hand side. So in the brackets, we would have x plus six. And this is equal to zero. Here we'll now have the two possibilities that will result in our two roots. Either ax equals zero, in which case x equals zero, or x plus six equals zero, in which case x equals negative six. And these will be the two roots for our parabola. That means that the coordinates of this point are negative six comma zero and this point is at the origin it's at zero comma zero all right now how do we find the vertex well let's try finding the x coordinate first we know that the vertex of a parabola lies on the axis of symmetry of the parabola and the equation for the axis of symmetry will be the average of the x-coordinates of the roots. So let's solve for that equation. We'll set it to x. And the average of our uh, x-coordinates of the roots will be negative 6 plus 0 over 2. So the equation for our axis of symmetry is x equals negative 3. All right, and this will be the x-coordinate of our vertex. So that will be negative 3. All right, and what about the y-coordinate? Well, let's see what we've got. Here, here we have a triangle. And its height is equivalent to the y-coordinate of our vertex over here. So let's call that y. This triangle also happens to have a base from one root to the other root. And this base has a length of 6. Do you see where I'm going with this? We now have a triangle and we have the value of its area and its base and we're given a variable for the height. Now we can use the formula for the area of a triangle and solve for the height. So we, we will have um, the area, which is 108, and it will be equal to the base which is 6, times the height, which is y, all over 2. And this simplifies to 108 is equal to 3y. And 
when we divide both sides by 3. We get y equals 36. And this means that the y coordinate of our vertex is 36. All right. Now, where do we go from here? Well, we need to solve for a, don't we? Which means we need values for x and y to solve for a. Well, look what we have. We have a point with an x and a y value. We can use the coordinates of our vertex and plug them in into our original equation and solve for a. So let's do that. Our equation is y equals ax squared plus 6ax. Now let's substitute in the values of the vertex. We'll have y is equal to 36. And this is equal to a times x squared, which is going to be negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3, which is x, times, times a. Now when we simplify uh, this equation, we get 36 equals 9a minus 18a. And the right-hand side simplifies to negative 9a. And finally, when we divide both sides by negative 9, we get that a is equal to negative 4. And this is our answer. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you all and I will see you in the next video.